in the dead of winter with temperatures below freezing, the wind whipping, sometimes bringing with it snow, sometimes rain. Well, it doesn't matter what the weather's like because you'll always find the St. Andrews swim team here in this pool outside. It builds a lot of resiliency because, you know, you kind of have to deal with whatever conditions are given to you. I mean, you can't really change the weather, but it's also like we're all kind of going through it together. I think there's very few teams and very few kids who would be willing to come do this every day other than us. And we not only come do it every day, but we look forward to doing it. And like it's really become a staple of our team to practice outside. For the past five seasons, Ryan Markowitz has led the St. Andrews swim team outside for daily practices. Wild. I don't think I've ever seen it like this. But you'll never hear these student athletes complain. In fact, they embrace the challenge and the cold. I love the sport, so I don't mind swimming like outside in the cold and the rain in the snow. So I think the outdoor element just like makes it more fun and also makes us tougher. <laughs> yeah, OK. St. Andrews is the only high school swim team in the DMV to train outside throughout the winter using the Montgomery Square Copenhaver Swim Club facilities in Potomac, Maryland. Feeling good? This is our culture now. Um, this is what people expect, um, and I think they take some measure of pride in that, uh, that they are the only winter sport team that trains outside, um, you know, even on a day like this. With no pool on the school's campus, the only way to practice consistently was to do what no one else would. We're the only one that took this step so that we could get five days a week in the water and match, you know, our peer schools who do have pools on their campus. Yeah. But that's really allowed us to catapult our program to where it is. Just last week, our girls placed third in the ISL conference. That's that hasn't happened for a co-ed school since 2016. The team will continue to train for a few more weeks as the boys and girls prepare for their league championships. Really awesome work today, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get warm. Reporting for WSA 9 Sports, I'm Charlotte McBride.